What is going on guys? My name is Jay and in this quick video I want to show you how you can create a quick slider for your website using Bootstrap. Now this is Bootstrap version 3.37. The Bootstrap 4 is already out but this slider uh, it used Flexbox and I don't want to confuse uh, the people that don't have experience with Flexbox. Okay, This one is very simple to do. So I'm here at getbootstrap.com I'm going to click here on getting started. Just scroll down a little bit. All right. And here we need this code because we have here the Bootstrap CSS, the theme CSS and the JavaScript. So I'm just going to copy all this. I'm going to go to my text editor. And here the only thing I have is a very simple HTML5 boilerplate, which you can see the only thing I have is a title. The body is empty. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go here below this title and I'm going to paste all that code. All right. Now we we need jQuery because if not, this uh, JavaScript is not going to work. So I'm going to go back to the website. I'm going to go here to this menu and there's something here called basic template. So I'm going to click there. And here you can see that we have a basic template that you can actually use if you want to. But the only thing I need right now is the jQuery URL, which is right here. All right, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right before my bootstrap JavaScript right there. Okay, I'm going to save this. And now we're ready to actually start uh, with the slider here in the body. So I'm going to go back to the page. I'm going to scroll up to the main navigation of this website and there is a JavaScript link right here. So I'm going to click there. All right, scroll down a little bit and you will see that Bootstrap have, you know, all these cool options and you will see the carousel right here, which is it's the slider. I call it the slider, uh, but you can call it a carousel if you want to. So I'm going to click there. And look at this. Super simple, very easy to use. So they are giving us the code already done here. Um, you can keep you can keep scrolling down and you have more options like adding you know captions, which is very cool. But for now, I'm gonna use a simple one, which is this one, is just the photo, and we can slide it, and we have here a little navigation here. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this code, all this code. I'm going to go back to my text editor and right here in the body, I'm going to paste everything. All right, here we go. All right, so I can see that we have here the div that is the actual slider. And then we have those uh, little dots. You know, that little navigation, that's this thing right here. And then we have our first image, second image. And we have here the caption, which I don't need. So I'm just going to start by removing these captions. I don't need them. But if you want it, you can leave them there and you can write whatever you want right here. But I don't want them, so I'm just going to remove those. And you can see that we have a little other global caption i don't need it right so i removed that and now i have two items you can see that we have item this one is active so it's the first one and this one is the second item and then we have an empty source so the source is the image url so i'm gonna go and get an image right now i have one right here this amazing beautiful computer I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to go back to my text editor and I'm going to paste it right there. Right. Same thing here. I'm just going to use the same image for this tutorial. So just like that. And here, these two are just the next. You can see previous and next. Um, you will see here the, pre the uh, next and preview. So, and that's it, that's our end of our slider. So, right now we have three dots, but we only have two images and that's confusing, but 
let's save it and let's see how it looks. Let's go here. I'm going to refresh this and look at this. Beautiful. Yep, it's working. It's working just perfect. But now look at the dots. Look at this. I'm clicking next, next. So I can click here and go to the next one. Can click here in the third one. There's nothing there. It's very confusing. And that's why we need to remove the third dot. We start at zero. So this is the first one. Then the one is the second one. And then the third is the, is the number two. So let's remove this third one because we don't have a third image. Okay, I'm going to save it. All right, let's reload this page. And now we have two because we only have two images. Now it's not confusing. That's amazing. Let's do something. Let's just create a div with a column of six. So I'll just, it's just, it will take the half of the page. So let's do this right here before the slider. So I'm just going to create a div with a class of call small six. All right. I'm just going to cut this div and put it right at the end. Save it. Let's go here. Let's reload the page and look at this. We have a slider which is getting 50% um, of the page and everything is working just fine perfect beautiful and that's it subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time i upload a new video thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day bye bye